today's video wasn't really on our roster of videos. We hadn't planned on producing this video, but I received an email this morning that tweaked me and said, I should do a quick video on this because this is a situation many of us face over and over again. You get up in the morning and you have an email in your inbox that you've made a payment to a company who you don't recognize. And it's one of your annual subscriptions. Now you're not being hoodwinked in any way, but you just don't remember who it's to, who it's for. So you have to do some research and then you realize, oh my gosh, I haven't used this service for ages. So you cancel the service. You write to the people say, I'm sorry, but I'm not using it. Can you refund me? And they say, yes, we will refund you. And you go through this whole process. And it's something that we all do. I thought maybe we could take a look at a way to a little more proactively deal with those annual subscriptions and maybe every once in a while do a little bit of spring cleaning. So I thought I would do some spring cleaning. And if I scroll down here at the very bottom of the email, PayPal tells me that I can just go in and I can update all of my pre-approved payments. And I thought, swell idea, let's do that. But it's easier said than done. How to manage your pre-approved payments in PayPal today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? As I mentioned off the top, I received an email this morning from a company, a good company. Uh, just don't, I don't use the product anymore. It's one of those annual subscriptions. We all have them. And so I wrote to the people and asked them to reverse the charges. They did quite nicely. And I thought I should do this proactively. I should get ahead of it. And I'm gonna, because now I've got a little bit of time on my hands, I'm gonna go in and PayPal tells me right here, to in this little message, go to your My Money, click on My Money, update your agreement in the My Pre-Approved Payment section. This is, I mean, really, what a great thing to do. Just get ahead of things a little bit. Proactively, make sure that all of the annual subscriptions that you're using, you're actually using, and if not, make sure you put a note in your calendar or you cancel them so you aren't making payments that you don't have to make. Uh, so I'm in my, so it says to go into my money section here, right? Isn't that what they said? They said, go into my money and then click on the, my pre-approved payments, but it's not here. And I look through all of the menu items and I can't find it anywhere. So I finally do a search and I go into the customer service section and I do multiple searches until I finally find this document which tells me that I have to go in, oh, it's not right where they said it was in the email. No, 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 it is buried ever so deeply. So look what you actually have to go through. And I'm going to walk through this once with you so that you know how to do it. You go in to your account settings and in your account settings, you go into your money, bank and cards. And in your money bank and cards, you find pre-approved payments. Then you go and you set your pre-approved payments. One, two, three, one, two, three, four clicks, five clicks, not counting the search. <laughs> lordy, lordy, there they are. Here is all of the things that I have pre-approved payments set up for inside of PayPal. And I can now scroll through this and decide which ones I'm using, which ones I'm not using, which ones I should proactively cancel, uh, and maybe which ones I should be using more or just checking maybe there's a better deal to be had. I can do some research. At any rate, I finally found my list of pre-approved payments in PayPal, but it's not at the surface. It's not an easy place to find. And I suppose we shouldn't be surprised because PayPal seldom makes things all that easy for us. They should make things easier, I think. Do you think they should make things easier? I'd love to see your comments, but that's the story. I wanted to take today's video and perhaps vent a little bit, which I, I, I'm already feeling much better, but also for you, this is a great time. You know, take an hour today Go into PayPal, you know where to go now. You can follow the path in, take a look at your pre-approved payments and make sure you aren't licensing software that you don't need to license. It's just something that you can do today that will save you aggravation tomorrow. And that is a good thing. Would love to hear your thoughts, your comments. Is there a better way to do things? I know there's some tools. There are some apps out there that will help you manage your subscriptions. I find that they're a little bit invasive. They aren't ones that I choose to use, but I'd love to see in comments whether or not 
they are tools that you like to use. Now, if you found today's video to be useful, I have a couple of favors to ask. First of all, please sh give us a like and share this video with your friends who might also benefit from getting ahead of their um, annual subscriptions on PayPal. Secondly, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, what the heck are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will see you next time right here on Dotto Tech. Until then, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs>